Hello, Pisces. Rambo Mike here. Going to play some tarot cards with you today, my friends. Thank you for tuning in one more time. I appreciate it. I appreciate your time. And uh, definitely want to thank all of you that uh, reach out. Touch that like button right there. And on the other side of the screen, thank you for touching that subscribe button. Huh? It's just simple. Boom, boom. Thank you if you've done that. I uh, definitely want to thank all my Pisces that have reached out and blessed me with uh, donations. Thank you. Very kind of you. Um, if you have blessed me with a donation, thank you. I always want to take a minute to be grateful, huh? And always, my Pisces that reach out for readings with me. I love you guys. I love Pisces. They're the ancient ones. Always a blessing to get to know each and every one of you on a personal level. Thank you again, my friends, for all of that. All right. Let's play some tarot here, huh? This will be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, for the month of May. The merry, merry month of May, 2019. Huh? First half of the month. And these readings will be for love and relationships. Relationships of all kinds, home, work, family. I myself, I'm going to be focusing on love right here. That's because I love to read for love. Mm -hmm. And we all know there's no way this is going to be for every Pisces on the planet. So, hey, if this general reading resonates with you, run with that and have fun with that. And if it doesn't, have fun throwing it out. Hmm? All right, I'm a cross watcher. You guys know I love you. I do want to remind you that even though I'll be saying Pisces a lot, this can very well play out from your perspective and probably will, huh? It is tarot. It's the esoteric. It's source. It's spirit. It's fun. So let's all fire up our intuition, our psychic abilities, all those giftings that we all have as we play with this fun world of tarot today. Let's go with this right here, Pisces. I'm going to tune in. Hey, Terry Love Team, Pisces is here to play with us today. Let's tell them what they need to know most for their highest good. Thank you for clarity, accuracy on my part. Help me see, help me speak what I need. Help Pisces see and hear what they need out of this reading. Let's take all these amazing pictures and put together a nice, clear, accurate story for Pisces' highest good. Thank you so very much for that, Love Team. Cannot do this without you. Appreciate you, my guides. Here we go, Pisces, cutting the deck. Pisces, first card out is the Knight of Pentacles, huh? It's about forward movement. The Knights are always moving forward. This Knight in particular, you know, he's a little slow, but he always gets what he wants. That's why he has gold and everything else all over his horse, because he's one step at a time. He's diligent and steadfast about manifesting what he wants, huh, Pisces? It's Earth's energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising. Let's see where the spread goes. Crossing over it is Six of Wands. It's a card of victory. Victory after the battle. Victory, you know, this is a card of triumph and victory. Six of Wands is the triumphant return of the Sun King. It's uh, Jupiter and Leo. It's a great card of uh, forward movement, victory, especially on top of uh, the Knight of Pentacles. It may have been a situation that some of my Pisces have been working on for a while that has been going slowly, but now as we come into May, a shift has begun, and Six of Wands shows up, the triumphant return of the Sun King, victory because of confidence within yourself, Pisces. Love it. Here we go. Base of the spread. Yeah, there's a fire sign there. There's a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, King of Wands. King of Wands, be it male or female. Uh, generally, somebody that is attractive, to say the least, has the potential of having a lot of suitors. I mean, it is the King of Wands, huh? Hi, here's my wand, huh? Yeah, you know, it's been been some kind of a fiery person in your life. They got a lot of fire, uh, but definitely uh, they have been uh, thinking about you for a while, you know. May have been gone for a season right here. 
But I like this King of Wands and the Terra Illuminati deck because he definitely has his hand on his chin. Huh? This king usually gets up and goes and gets what he wants, but it looks like uh, he's been kind of set down in that chair right there and thinking about uh, thinking about this whole situation right here with Pisces. Five of Cups in the recent past. Yeah, the old cup spiller right there. Lots of this energy going on right now, Pisces. Uh, the Five of Cups talks about, you know, the spilled cups right there. And not focusing on the spilled cups, but by knowing that the two cups are behind you, the bliss, the true love, whatever it is, it's about turning around, picking up the two cups, going over the bridge, over troubled water, back up to the high vibration castle. Not focusing your energy on a cup spiller right here. And this king, regardless of it's a fire sign or not, this king has a tendency, because he can have a lot of suitors, to spill some cups. This is water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Right here. Sun, moon, rising. So let's come out of River of Tears, Pisces. Let's, let's turn around. Tarot saying there's two cups behind you. I see victory after the battle. Fire energy. And solid movement forward with this person again. If you want. We're, we're going to see here. Eight of Cups. Yeah, I don't know if Pisces is going to want that or not. Huh? Eight of Cups. This is Pisces walking away from something that was no longer emotionally fulfilling to them. Heading out to go find their ninth cup of wish fulfillment. Huh? Challenging though. You know, this character in that card, he's sad. Uh, but the, the, the thing about it is, all those cups of the Terra Illuminati deck, they're all stacked up nice and neat. It always talks to me about all that love walk and all that work that we put on the inside of us. We're not going to leave that behind. We're keeping all those goodies. We're going to keep all that spiritual work that we have, but definitely going to head out in the 3D to go find your ninth cup of wish fulfillment. Certainly looks like we got a, we got a little look-see about what it is. There is some victory coming in here for you. Slow and steady movement towards what you want, huh? Because you walked away from something. No more of this river of tears. And like I said, there's two cups right there. And it could all have been about a fire sign right here. But, you know, I mean, that guy can be a player. We all know this, you know. Six of swords, yeah, I don't see you uh, going back to this individual, but many of you may. Definitely comes out and talks about coming out of choppy waters, moving forward, learning life lessons. Six of Swords. Coming out of choppy waters is his movement mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually. Coming out of these choppy waters, heading over out to these smoother waters right over here, you know. Hopefully Paradise Island right over there. That's what I always see. You know, a little sadness once again because... Many of my Pisces have learned a lot of life lessons right here, possibly from an air sign. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising. It is a Six of Swords. So you're moving away from troubled times, moving away from Five of Cups, you know, leaving it all behind. Slowly moving forward towards what you do want. Victory right here. Learned a lot of life lessons. Has a... How's that young lady in the boat? She's definitely sad because those can be painful, those swords, but they're up on the front of the boat, cutting the way through the shit. And I love the little inner child that's down there looking at the oarsman right here. You know. Yes, Mr. Oarsman. Take us over to Paradise Island over there. We would like to see what's on Paradise Island. Thank you, sir. Look at this, man. The sun showing up. I think this card has showed up for 95% of my reads for the last six weeks. It's personal, private, YouTube, the sun card showing up here for Pisces. You know, it can talk about illumination. You seeing, you know, the sun shining in your life. Possibly because you walked away from somebody right here. Could be this king of, king of wands, huh? And heading towards some victory. You see it right here. I like this card. It's a 
It's an amazing card of, of prosperity, abundance, the good life. No more river of tears. Definitely heading out to go find your ninth cup of wish fulfillment. Learn the life lessons. Let's go. Let's head out. You know, uh, Jupiter and Leo right here. This is Leo. It's first major arcana. May mean something to you. Pisces may not. <clears throat> Definitely an amazing card in how you see yourself at this particular point in time. Illuminated. The sun shining on you. Exterior influence on this here is a uh, lover right there. The uh, Prince of Cups could very well be somebody new coming in here for Pisces. I mean, this card is Pisces, though. There's definitely love coming in here for you. The Sun card, the lover right there. This would be the one that makes the heart go boom, diddy, boom, diddy, boom, boom, boom. Slow and steady movement with this person coming in as we step into May here. Victory after the battle because of confidence within yourself. Learned a whole bunch of life lessons. Just not going to put up with anything that's not the sun, that's not emotionally fulfilling to you. Ain't that absolutely beautiful? I love the uh, Knight of Cups on top of the Knight of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. This is a beautiful story about victorious love coming in here for many of my Pisces friends. Right there. Steady movement forward, confidence within yourself. And there's, there's either you being the lover or a lover coming in here for you. It's because you walked away from somebody. Somebody that was spilling cups in your world right here, Pisces. You're just not going to play with it anymore. You're going to... Yeah, this, this Pisces that I'm talking to, they want the sun shining into their life. They want some stability in a relationship. They want the feeling of victory and home and hearth in their relationship. They just don't want a player that's going to come in here and break their heart and go galloping off again. And they're going to be very passionate, huh? This is Pisces being very passionate about uh, this person, this sun person that, uh, that's in their life. Somebody's making the sun shine in Pisces' life, regardless if they're with them in the 3D or the 5D. It's right here, man. This is love. It's beautiful. Seven of Pentacles says that you've been patient. Divine timing. This is absolutely a divine timing card. Definitely talks about whatever you've been wanting is coming in. You've been sowing seeds to the universe right there. Also, you know, when there were little uh, five of cups and eight of cups, many of us will just go to work and make some coin. No doubt about that, huh? But uh, this card absolutely talks about being grateful and thankful at this particular point in time, Pisces, for all the amazing things that are uh, beautiful in your life, you know. Don't be too focused on this pinnacle down here. You know, this is the one that you want to manifest one step at a time. The sun has showed up here for you. Could very well be, like I've been telling everybody, a time stamp right here. Leo season, August, July. It has been just all over my spreads. Let's look at an outcome. There we go. Fresh starts, new beginnings, a leap of faith. I love it for you, Pisces. This is Uranus, the planet of sudden change. It's Aquarius. It's also Aries. Beautiful. The majors that I have on the board are Aries, Aquarius, and Leo. May mean something to you, may not. Divine timing is at hand here. Learned a lot of life lessons. Walked away from a situation that is no longer emotionally fulfilling to you. Many of this uh, could be, you know, in the distant past, huh? is a king right there that's king of wands so he played either the cup spiller or he's playing out here is the one you've been patient for either way uh, this is a new beginning coming in here for my pisces possibly with an aries you know uh, an aquarian a leo those are my majors on the board been patient this is this is grounded, man. This is com this is this is gonna stick. You're definitely uh, gonna be walking away from this situation, from what I see here at the first of May. But uh, outcome for May is a fresh start, a new beginning, a leap of faith huh? towards the sunshine right here. It's beautiful, 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 Pisces. Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the spread. 
This is what you have the potential to manifest here. This is what the fool's jumping towards. It's right there. It's Earth energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. May mean something to you, may not, but the fool is absolutely jumping towards Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles being, uh, you know, the percent, the uh, <laughs> the possibility of the uh, universal dream, uh, the little white picket fence and the big pink house, the loving couple. Wisdom of the years, doggies in the yard, loyalty, babies, bliss running in the yard. Let's not forget about money in the bank. Yeah, that's something we're jumping for. That's something, that's that two cups right there, huh? It's right there. Yeah, yeah as soon as you're done processing, you're going to walk away from all that energy. That's Pisces right there. Learned a lot of life lessons, six of swords. Heading straight out to get on that sun bus right there. Been patient enough. Going to go get what you want. Going to jump. Ten of Pentacles right here. Three of Wands can talk about... Um, Using law of attraction to get your ships to dock up. Many of you have known this for quite a while. Seven of Pentacles. Uh, going to go get them. You're going to go get this Ten of Pentacles right here. Because this is law of attraction. Getting your ships to dock up. Uh, and Three of Wands says you put all your heart, soul, and strength into the situation. Talks about all the divine being with you, grandpa and grandma on the other side, higher self source, angels, all helping you to manifest your ten of pentacles. I'm telling you, it's coming in here right here. Wouldn't be surprised if it just totally manifested by this season right here. That season of Leo. We have five of swords on the bottom of that. Definitely learned some life lessons right here. Definitely learn to stand up and do what's best for you. Setting yourself up in the front of the card right there. This is a card of healthy selfishness and doing what's best for you. Hmm? Three of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, you're going to do what's best for you. Um, you know, with all this sadness and whoever was killing, whoever was kicking over Pisces Cups, um, they were an idiot because Pisces really cared for that person right there. I see it. But Pisces is going to stand up and do what's best for them because Five of Swords can talk about coming out of manipulation, coming out of control situations, coming out of narcissistic behavior, heading towards the sun right here. Learned all these life lessons. Going to go get this Ten of Pentacles right here because you know what you want. Three of Wands. You want your ships to come in right here. And you've learned a whole boatload of life lessons with Five of Swords and Six of Swords. You learn to do what's best for you. Healthy selfishness and love yourself first <laughs> oh, and there it is right there huh there's that offer coming in here for you uh, or are you giving an offer out there's more of those pinnacles and the princess of pinnacles is about messages communication phone calls all that i see a processing time right here like many of us as we go through the first part of may but as second part of may the full card ten of pinnacles uh, Princess of Pentacles, communication, telephone calls, face-to-face -face meetings, an offer, Knight of Pentacles, moving forward, victory because of confidence in yourself, going towards the sun. And this could go all the way with the Hierophant right there at the bottom of it. Has great potential to go all the way. That is the Hierophant. He is all about committed relationships and the potential thereof. And a love spread. Oh, Pisces. Love cards for Pisces, please. Thank you very much, love team. Appreciate it. Look, trust jumped out here. This situation is calling for you to have faith. Now, faith is an action word. It's a verb. It's about acting like you already have what you want. Huh? Calling those things that are not as though they are. That's faith. It's acting like you already got it going on. I see it right here. The sun shining on your head. Even though all this eight of, eight of cups... Five of cups, six of swords. But here's Pisces just shining like the sun. Oh, I know what I want to, and I know where I'm going right here. I'm going to step out when time is right. I'm going to act like I already got my ships coming in. I'm going to act like I already got my ten of pinnacles. I'm going to act like I've already jumped and taken that leap of faith towards the sun right here. This is beautiful, man. Woo. Love it. More for Pisces, please. Thank you, love to. Whoa, yeah, man. Let go of control issues. Huh? 
Let this situation unfold naturally. And, I, and like I said, there is that processing, so don't wear yourself out. If you need to take a little season right here at the beginning of May to process all of this, because I see that Pisces really cared for the, whoever that knucklehead was. All right. And they're letting him go. They're letting it go. It's like done. It's like final. huh? They're going to step out and move in a new direction. They know where they're supposed to go right here. Seven of Pentacles. They're going to head towards Ten of Pentacles right here. They're going to probably pick up the phone and call and say, Hey, what's going on? Huh? Woo! More for Pisces, please. Reconciliation. Look at that. I felt that uh, from the whole time right here because of Seven of Pentacles. See, Pisces was playing with somebody out here, whoever this is for. Uh, but that was like some kind of karmic shit where they learned a lot of lessons. Eight of Cups, Six of Swords. That's a boatload of life lessons that they learned from this situation, that this heartbreak. River, to, river Tears right here. And whoever this king is right here. You know, whoever this king is right here. Yeah, I mean, he's sitting right here by the sun. So I'm not sure if this king was... Uh, the heartbreaker, you know, this king looks to me like he's just been sitting here waiting. This king would live in this house, in my opinion. You know, just saying. But there is some kind of reconciliation, trust, believe. <laughs> Pisces is going to take that leap of faith, huh? It's absolutely beautiful, my friend. Um, you know, and, and the whole lesson here, huh, has been to love yourself first, huh, Pisces? Love yourself first. That's the key to it all, huh? That's the key to it all. Love yourself first. It's a, it's a beautiful transition that I see. Doesn't look like it's going to take very long because the sun wants to shine in Pisces' life one more time. Majors that I have on the board are Aries, Aquarius, Leo, and uh, Taurus with the hair farm. May mean something to you, may not. Let's get a couple more majors out here. Uh, what we're we taking home. Huh? Hey, love team, major overall for Aries, uh, for, for Pisces. I'm looking at that fool card. Major overall for Pisces, please. And Oh, and look at the emperor came out, huh? Sacred masculine energy, Aries. This talks about stability coming in here for you. With this relationship, this Ten of Pentacles, that's absolutely stability of nothing else. I mean, that's stability coming in here for you. Could be an Aries, that, uh, that for many of my Pisces. Uh, sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, huh? Uh, could be an Aries, but definitely stability coming in here for you. This person, uh, you know, with the Hierophant right there. Uh, this person could, well, they're definitely successful in life, uh, business entrepreneur type energy. Maybe even some kind of spiritual work for some of these people right here. I'm getting with the hair found and, uh, and uh, the emperor. And uh, the magician on the bottom of the deck. Huh? It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Goes, goes real nice with this let go of control issues thing um, for a minute here while you process. Heal yourself. Love on yourself. Let the sun shine on you. Uh, this is uh, the magician. Once again, this is Aries. This is also Mercury. This is Gemini, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, of course. Is the magician. This is the one that manifests what they want. What does Pisces want? Something nice and stable and secure, huh? The good life. And I see it coming in here for you. Um, and the magician has everything they need to manifest what they want. The swords, the communication, the thought process, the intellect. Uh, the ducats, the pinnacles lining up for them, the cups, the emotions balanced. So heal yourself right here. And uh, also that wand of passion uh, tucked up by his heart right there because he still knows that he's very passionate about three of wands. And, uh, but you know, the David Bowie deck, I always love the magician. Huh? He's super cool, man. I love how his head's all illuminated right there. So let's watch the stinking thinking. When the magician comes up, know that you have the ability to manifest whatever it is that you want. Know that we manifest by what we think, feel, and believe. Huh? So no more stinking thinking. Look at how lit up his, his brain is right there. It's amazing. 
All right. The magician has showed up here for you. You're going to manifest what you want. For many of you, it's a reconciliation with somebody very, very special that could go all the way. All right. Hope you got something out of this, Pisces. Namaste. Love and light. Talk to you soon, my friends. Bye for now.